Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part two, strategic financial management. In this session, we'll discuss about CVP analysis, cost volume profit analysis. Cost volume profit analysis is used in our decision making and uh, it helps us to maximize our profits, it tells us to take decisions on production, that how many units are to be sold, the investment, what amount of investment is required, and also it helps us to you know uh, take decisions on finance, how much to be borrowed, to be invested in changing the capacity levels. In this analysis, we will be discussing about the various issues related to the units to be sold to earn some profit, a target profit. What happens if you increase the capacity levels, invest in you know, new products, invest in additional assets, and their impact on the profits. So cost volume profit analysis concentrates mostly on different types of costs. Like basically you have an equation called net income equals to net revenues minus the net cost. Means total revenues from all the products to deal with minus the total cost. The total cost is further classified into variable cost and fixed cost. We'll discuss about fixed cost and variable cost. The total cost is the tot total of total fixed cost and total variable cost. The revenues are nothing but the number of units you sell. Say for example, you are selling 5,000 units at the rate of $10 each. The sales price is $10 per unit. So the total sales are going to be 50,000. The variable cost is say for example, $2 per unit. As you are planning for 5,000 units, so it is going to be 5,000 times $2. And the fixed cost is, say, for example, $20,000, a constant amount. So, 5,000 times 2, 10,000 plus 20,000. Your total cost is 30,000. And your total revenues are 50,000. Profit is going to be 20,000. This way, we identify the different you know outcomes from our various assumptions so we'll be discussing in detail about the costs different types of costs and how we use these costs in the generating the profits for this we need to use an equation called s minus v sales minus v variable cost will give you a contribution S minus V equals to C. Contribution is profit subject to the fixed cost. The moment you cover your fixed cost by the contribution, that will result in net income. So higher the contribution, higher the profit is. Higher the contribution, higher the profit is. When you cover your variable expenses from sales, you get what? Contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost will give you a profit. So to improve your profit, improve your contribution by controlling the variable cost by improving your sales. So what you can do is, you can only play around here, sales and variable cost. Higher the sales, of course, higher the variable cost, but that should result in 
increase in contribution. Your fixed cost remains same. So your net income will increase. So try to improve the contribution to get more profits. Higher the contribution, higher the profit. In the coming sessions, we'll discuss about the fixed cost, what is fixed cost, what is fixed cost as an amount, what is a fixed cost per unit, how the fixed cost will give benefit to the manufacturers when they use a maximum capacity. We'll discuss about variable cost, variable cost per unit, variable cost as an amount, and impact of fixed and variable costs on our CVP analysis. We'll see you soon in the next class and have a good time.